Hello everybody, welcome back to Band Trading Cards and today we are going to open up this, my first <laughs> raise uh, expansion set from Genesis and the raise guys was released on September 2020 yeah, and really cool, you know this is a 15 card booster pack and made in Canada Ooh, our country all right www.genesisbattleofchampions.com you can go there to learn more about the game and yeah the serial number and if you have some questions you can contact them uh here in this email address yeah there he, he is the one who created this game asad koraichi and i have a very privilege to talk to him about the game and also i ask him uh, some questions from patreons and from online and um, i can put the link over here on our chat um, about that okay and look at that man omg very nice there so this is the champions this day oh th this is an angel i guess yeah okay let's open it let's open it and uh, my first raise and let's take a look what's inside in here Apparently they said uh, they said that it will be like this. Oh, it's not possible, guys! It's not possible by this one. This is a, a bit um, tough, a bit tough. So um, let me. Sorry, guys. <laughs> There you go. There's a weak point that I had. All right, man. Sorry about that. There. Woo! That was tough. Okay. So we're gonna open that. And by the way, if you want to know more about how to protect your your uh, cards of Genesis, you can uh, put uh, go to this link over here. Then, um. This one, ooh, Golden Lang, Langor. Okay, so this is an uncommon card. From uh, This is the Rays set. So you can see R-A-Z. Then Mario Stoshevsky. Yeah. For number 45 over 109. Carl Lille. All right. There you go. Golden Langor. And if you can see, this is the health this is the awareness. You can see the red ball over there. It's the awareness. That means this one can attack whoever or whatever is. My, my playmat is moving. Okay. Whoever or whatever is in here, it can attack to that awareness. All right. And then we have the chi value, which uh, consumes a chi value of 250 or less on your timeline. It should be 250 or less. Okay, and five, so that means it's uh, already consumed five on that um, timeline. They call the deck or library a timeline, guys. And this is the affiliation symbol, and it should coincide or it should match with the hero's symbol. Okay, like uh, hero's affiliation. And uh, maybe we can, I can show you some of here. Uh, I have a hero here. Yeah, this one. This is a hero, and this is her affiliation and they match right they have it there so this one this hero odara can use this card okay that's how it works then um, golden langur is summon monkey so action uh beckon it's aura nine so that means it uses up an aura of the hero so to kind of you can beckon so beckon means that uh, it's like a summon in mtg so you summon the uh, summon uh, like that. You should summon this card. So it, the expense is nine hours. Swift holy attack. Then you have to exert when you attack there. Then continuous cast everything adjacent to golden longer gains dark resistance. So adjacent that means if uh, this one is here, so adjacent here, there they are uh, resistant, right? Gains dark resistance. So that means there's like a dark resistance it says here all dark damage dealt to this card is reduced by one there you go 
So we can put it there. That's uncommon card. Uncommon again. Um, selective amnesia. Spell. Arcane. And it doesn't have health. Uh, chi value is 5. It will consume 250. Uh, 5 on the 250. Okay. This is. Uh, so that means this is the affiliation of. Hero can use this. There. So the hero can use that. Yeah. There you go. Any hero I guess. Yeah. Then um, all. Swift. Uh, this one is swift cast uh, it cost 10 auras all champions with more than five cards in their thoughts must discard down to five okay so swift is like an instant in magic so you will have like uh, all champions with more than five cards in their thoughts must discard down to five that means thought is the one uh, cards on hand right so yeah and then um this is the uh some quotes Hoarding knowledge gains you nothing. Use it, share it for when it is lost. There you go. This is the artist uncommon card. Nice card. All right. So I guess you haven't seen the back yet. So I will show you in a while. Uh, uncommon card, which is weighted net. And look at that. She has the awareness because she will be put in battlefield. Then um, see that a five chi value. Uh, she consumes 5 chi value on the library or deck or the week they call it timeline. And this is the affiliation uh, symbol. Same, similar to the one that was before that one. So uh, per, uh, this one, Odara, can use this card. Okay, the, uh, the champion. So swift ability range attack 2. Uh, it costs 6 energy. Energy means you have the timeline over here or deck or library. Then you have to draw six cards and put it in the graveyard to to put uh, to use this card so it's a technique type of card trigger grounded if a champion or someone is dealt damage by weighted net then they lose flight and aerial abilities for the rest of their rounds nice that's the the ability of this card so that means this card will be put on the battlefield let's put them right here then or for example here so this is the awareness of this card there okay it can attack on this range all right so we're gonna put it there oh by the way i'm gonna show you the back of the card look at that nice okay Ooh, we have the hero over here yeah nice this is core and i have the full art core over here i'm gonna show you so that um, you can, can compare I have look at that core and this is how he looks like when uh, he's standing up and this is running uh, position nice look at that this is uh, a rainbow foil yeah okay so that is 25 health 121 uh, this one is the energy reduction that means uh, for this card six right so if you use this one uh, actually this is uh, not usable for core this card is not uh, affiliated with core because they don't have uh, this symbol there. So you can't use this. This is just an example, guys. So you need six energy, right? But um, if if your hero has a symbol like this and one over there, that means you only need five. Five to discard from your library or your timeline. Okay? So that's how it works. Then we have a swift a dark attack you have to exert it action action mobius mobius is a new word for me it's exert kill target someone with one health in your awareness draw a card oh nice okay so if you have a card with one like this one is one i'm gonna show you guys this one is one right there and if uh this card or this creature is in front of core, which this creature is Hawajin. And if it's in front of core, you take an action, kill target someone with one in your awareness, one health, draw a card. So that means this one, uh, this creature is one, so this one will be killed. All right, now next, OMG, this is an angel, right? Well, Reiki, Reiki, summon. And the health is six. Oh, nice. This is strong. And the chi value is eight. There's no awareness. 
and this is the affiliation symbols and you can see here you can only play yamara just resurrect ability if another summon has been killed this round action resurrect beckon oh it's a rare card wow that's why beckon um lose three lives and use an aura of 11 omg so you have to spend three lives and aura of 11 to to summon this bad boy trigger death touch <laughs> when yamara just enters the arena it kills target someone around it with remaining three or less <laughs> oh my goodness so that means if this one right here this one is two right oh yeah it's a summon see that summon so if it's right here and you put this yamaraja and it will gonna kill this guy wow this is strong man nice okay and then trigger knowledge assimilation whenever a summon around yamaraja is killed send it to its owner's subconscious yamaraja gains all abilities and awareness of that summon omg <laughs> this is cool man all right gonna keep that there rare then we have oh jelarian mist it's a spell air swift all spots in jelarian mist awareness are considered occupied this round okay there nice eight so you need eight hours to cast this spell all spots in jelarian mists awareness so this is the awareness of jelarian mist so if you put it in here so you cannot occupy all four awareness there so left right up down okay there you go then we have um let's put it in here let's arrange that guys sorry about that yeah i have to buy a play mat guys because you know it, this one is moving and it's a, just a paper so anyway uh wrist throw look at that this is the affiliation five chi value Restro, it's a technique swift toss um it costs three energy you may place target champion or summon in wrist throws awareness on a spot around you okay on a spot wrist throw okay it's similar to what i've pulled last time yeah you may place target champion or summon in wrist throws awareness okay so that means if this one um toss awareness on a spot around you all right so that's th this is how it works so if this one is here then it will toss this one around you so it can be tossed here tossed here tossed there so if it depends on you if your hero is here so you have to put this one here so that it can be attacked right that would be probably my technique <laughs> but uh, i'm not sure yet <laughs> yeah i'm still learning okay so that is a common card I'm going to show you here. Common card there. Then we have a common card again. We have the awareness is one there. One there. And then uh, eight. Chi value. Then affiliation. Peaceful demand. Spell holy. Cast. Oh yeah. Swift cast. And then you need to have 12 hours. Oh MG. This is expensive. Um, target champion in peaceful demands awareness choose one they discard all cards in their thoughts oh that means all cards in their hands they cannot move or rotate this round and gain pacify for the rest of the turn omg wow then ras it's like this abler guys man okay so this is common fire find one health awareness is one then three over there chi value this is the affiliation then action beckon and then aura is four swift fire attack exert yeah so you can uh, you have a fire attack guys cool man this is a cool game you know um this is uh what is this five yeah affiliation here angelic chains wow look at that angelic chains um action enchant 15 auras expensive 
add angelic chains as a skill. Okay. Whenever you play a cast ability, you may pay 5 arrows. If you do, target summon in your awareness gains pacify for the rest of this round. So what uh, pacify means? This champion or summon loses their awareness. What? What? <laughs> very nice. Very cool. It's a common card. Wow. It loses his awareness. For example, guys, summon or a champion. This is a summon. So, yeah, if you have a pacify, then this one will cannot attack on this um, on this side, right? Because this is his awareness. Yeah, correct. OMG. And I guess that is for that turn only, right? Yeah, uh, target summon in your awareness gains pacify for the rest of the... Oh yeah, just in your turn. Uh, for the rest of the round. Yeah, and look at that. This is Nirat. Neurotite. Neurotite or Neurotite. I don't know. <laughs> Neurotite. I, I just call it Neurotite. Then um, action. This is the health is 2. Awareness is 1 over there. 4 Chi. And then this is affiliation. So it costs 6 hours. Beckon. Action. Then exert when uh, there's an air, attar, uh, air attack. So air attack is 2. So this is the damage is 2. Alright. Damage to the enemy. Then it's common card. Yeah, really cool. Then uh, Lion Mane Rabbit, which is this one. The awareness, 2 health, 4 chi, and the affiliation to the hero. Then Beckon, uh, cost 5 action. Hop, which is you need to exert and pay 1 life. Place Lion Mane Rabbit in a spot in its awareness. Okay, so that means it will hop. Oh, yeah. Yeah, in its awareness. There. There you go. And whenever Lion Mane Rabbit moves or is in place on a spot and is at one life, it deals three earth damage to another target in the same spot as it. As it. Nice. Okay. It's a common card. Okay. Let's put it there. Aura Transmutation. Uh, it's a spell. Uh, three Chi value. Swift cast and it costs three hours. The next uh, attack ability you play is reduced by one energy this round. Okay, there you go. That's a common card. And the last or but not least, dark passage. So the awareness is like this here. And one, two, and three. So that's his awareness. And 5G value. Affiliation is here, dark Passage, action, cast, and then aura is 8. Place a summon from your thoughts on a spot in dark passages awareness and then kill that summon. What? Nice. Place a summon from your thoughts, okay, from your hand on a spot in dark passage awareness and then kill that summon. Ooh. So if it's here, there's a summon. Let's find a summon there. So it's in the awareness. It's either here, 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 here. And if you place a summon over here, it will kill that um, instantly. Wow, nice. Okay, then we have here Shock Lizard. Wow, electricity. <laughs> okay, so two lives, two health, then awareness, four chi affiliation. Uh, it costs eight hours to beckon. Then Swift, Electric Attack, 2, Exert. So Electric Attack is 2 damage. Then Continuous is Fire Resistance. All Fire Damage dealt to Shock Lizard is reduced by 1. So it's always 1. Alright. Nice. Look at that, guys. So, oh my goodness. My cards are all over the place. <laughs> because uh, I need uh, a good um, play mat because this is just paper. Like a play mat that won't slip when I pull this out, pull this up. And we have the rare over there. We have the uncommon. We have the uncommon again. So we have how many uncommons? Commons, commons, commons there. And a starter. We have a hero. There you go. 
So we have a hero. We have two or uh, three uncommons. Then we have a rare. Nice. So that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have some questions on champions, uh, just put a comment down below and uh, we're going to answer that for you. Okay. Thank you very much and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.